Hey guys, welcome to Road to Ride. I'm LaDrib and this is Community Spotlight where we feature clips from you guys, the FPV community. We scour the internet, find amazing FPV clips and share them because there's a lot of great FPV out there. So we have some categories that I always choose arbitrarily. Starting it off, we're gonna have some good old freestyle. This is one of my favorites. I'm a freestyle pilot. This is what I like to see. So we're kicking it off with a video from PDEVX. I don't know how to say his pilot name, but let's check it out. I like the little B-roll intro, getting right into a real silky wall ride. And then look at this. What was that? That was so mind blowing. It's like up into this shaft and then a little front flip and then a backwards dive out. That is a sick little maneuver. I'm not sure if I've ever seen that before. This is just a great spot, like all these little bridgeways and stuff to uh, to loop around. And I like coming out of that loop into kind of that reverse wall ride flow. Overall, I, I just like this video. It's just got really good vibes. I think it's partially like the song you chose is just kind of one of those vibey things. I just like watching this. It just puts me in a good mood. I feel like this pilot was in a good mood flying, just really enjoying the flow, doing all the little tricks, linking it together, having a good time, and I'm having a good time going on the ride with him. Next up, we've got Captain Chaos in this video titled Diving Chaos Tower. This must be like a spot close to his home or something like that. I love that it's just this one simple obstacle and he's just having at it and this dive from the moon. Oh, he like definitely cut the grass coming out of that. I love it. Next up, we've got Terror Burb. FPV, I think I said that right. He's at this bando spot and the song is just got that like, boom, that drop, that epic feeling. Check this out. He's got Matty flips, he's got double Matty flips. He's got this like, ooh, just barely made it dive. On his Instagram, his bio just says drone destroyer. And I imagine with some of these tricks that he's doing at this spot, there's probably some truth in that. But I appreciate a good send. Next up, we've got John Arn Iverson with just the most perfect power loop to yaw spin to Matty out. It was so crisp and then he even continues it with another Matty. It's one of my favorite tricks to do. It's one of my favorite tricks to see, but this has to be one of the cleanest I have ever seen. That yaw is just so locked in and then mm, perfect. Our last pilot in the good old freestyle category is Dr. Nope. I like that it's got some buildup with the dramatic drops and then just kind of gets to the point of oof. There it is, barely pulling out of it. Give me that slow motion replay. Near destruction, near destruction. Our next category is a new category that I've made up called bucket lists. So these are stunts that we've all dreamed of doing with drones. Like the first time we saw FPV, we all had these thoughts of like, oh, wouldn't it be cool if fill in the blank? And there's just a few of those things that I think we all universally in the back of our mind really want to do. We really want to see it happen. So first off, we got Ross has a drone flying through a moving car. This is definitely one of the first things that I thought of when I thought about what you could do with FPV as a camera. How cool would it be to be chasing a car and then actually fly through it? So you can fold down the front windshield and remove the whole rear section, making it basically a gate on wheels, which is really cool. I also like the uh, kind of the soundscape he's got going on. He's just got sounds of the engine. You don't hear the drone. It's kind of a cool effect. Also, just wanna wanna say that there's some serious trust here. This is one of those that while it's one of the coolest things I've ever seen, I also wanna say maybe don't try that at home unless you're using a Cinewhoop or some face coverings on the dryer. That one's a little risky, but really awesome result. Our next bucket list item is Sergey Balash flying a demolition site. We've seen a few clips like this, and Sergey's here is one of the coolest I've ever seen. He, he's got no fear here, flying right into the madness of it, even around some of these fire hoses. I think he just got sprayed there by the hose. Just craziness. I also like the cutaways to the B-roll showing him on site, kind of like how close he's actually standing to the madness. The dust is hitting the pilot himself. He's wearing a face mask and all this stuff. This is, a, this is a cool little edit. All right, our last item on this video's bucket list category is a roller coaster video. Now, we've all seen roller coaster FPV drone videos before. In fact, we've done multiple on the Rotor Riot channel. But this just isn't any roller coaster video. Shaggy's actually chasing one of the trains the whole time. This is epic. That loop, he followed. 
closed it around the loop. That was so cool. He kind of got a little far away on the second one, but I can't even get mad because that first track was just, oh, it was perfect. And then I like the choice to just go straight through the spiral as the roller coaster circles around you, throw in a loop of the drone itself, and then meet back right up with it for the circle around. That was awesome. What, what just took it to the next level for me was how it followed around the loop. It was just perfection. Moving on to our next category, location. A big part of FPV is going to cool locations and getting to experience those spots in a really unique way. Now, I think one of the coolest things that you could ever get to fly are power plant cooling towers. And so here we've got Sync FPV doing what might be the best cooling tower video I've ever seen. It's just got the perfect vibe. I like how he's flying it too, doing some things I haven't really seen before, kind of that TikTok over the edge. And then this, I love this, how he's just doing the infinite wall ride. How cool is that? Of course you gotta dive it. And the dives on cooling towers are so cool because they've got the perfect arc to them where you can enter with some speed, trace the upper part of the arc, and then add some throttle to keep following it down. Really awesome. He throws in a perch. He's just doing everything that you could possibly want to do here. I love it. Our next location is being flown by Chaco FPV. And he's flying like a 95 sized micro quad with HD video recording around this like old rusty Ferris wheel. I'm just loving the spaces that he can get in with this little drone. I think this is one of like, oh my God's new things. This like, I'm a 95X. This is the perfect drone for this application to be able to get in that tight little area. Flies around some more of the area. You get to check in with the guy himself and then splitting that light post there, that just proves how small this thing is. Like I said, it's just the perfect platform for this because it's really safe to fly around people. It's super lightweight, very low risk, and in this case, high reward. All right, before we move on to the next category, I wanna take a minute to tell you guys about something new that we're coming out with, and that is the Rotor Riot Sim PC. partnered with Apex Gaming PCs to come out with a pre-built PC that was built around the specs that packs enough of a punch to run high performance FPV simulators at the full settings. I was never able to get good sim performance out of any of the Macs that I've owned. And so I actually did go through the process of building a PC with my friend, Sean. And if I didn't have Sean to pretty much build the whole thing for me, it was overwhelming. It's like a whole nother hobby that I don't wanna get into. I just want a PC that I know I'm gonna be able to turn on, load up liftoff and rip. And that's why we're so excited about the Rotor Riot PC. This PC comes with Steam pre-installed, which is what you need to run liftoff. And when you buy this PC, you have the option to also get liftoff at a discounted price. You get half off liftoff with Night Fever when you pick up a Rotor Riot gaming PC. So with all the standard options, it's gonna have more than enough power to run liftoff or any drone sim. And if you want more storage, more power, more hamsters, spinning on wheels, whatever's inside that box. If you want more of it, there are options. You can upgrade it and max it out for whatever your needs are. As part of launching this, there's a 10% off discount. If you shop at the Rotorite store, that discount will automatically be applied. If you shop at Apex, just use the discount code Rotorite and that 10% will be applied to the Rotorite PC and anything on their stores. Now, usually on Community Spotlights, whatever product we feature, we like to give one away to one of the pilots that we're featuring on the episode. I wish we could give away a full PC, but that's not quite in the budget. So what we will do is we are going to give away a $100 gift card to the Rotor Riot store that the winner could use on a Rotor Riot gaming PC, or if they don't need a PC, they could pick up whatever else you need for your drone. All right, let's get back to Community Spotlight. Our next category is close calls. So we got another vehicular chase situation from Steve McCall but he's getting real close on that chase, real close, real close, he's under it. He is under the car. I don't think you've ever gotten a closer look at a vehicle suspension than right then and there. You swear you think it's just gonna go right under the tire and get squished and destroyed. He gets lucky, the drone gets kicked out and he says that all he needed was a prop change and it flew again. I love this clip and I like that right before he went under, you also see that, that fiery backfire. Great clip, Steve. I'm glad your drone didn't get totally wrecked. Now we have Christopher 
Acosta. He's flying over water, which is always risky. And then as he goes under this bridge structure thing, doing a little bit of a yaw spin, what do you see? There's a stream of water that he just barely misses. In fact, it almost looked like his props might have touched it. But if he was just one inch over, that water could have ran right into his drone, knocked out his flight controller. And I'm thinking if you go down there, you're not getting it back. It looks like pretty deep water and pretty uh, treacherous to get down to. So good job on not being one inch over and having your drone wrecked in the water. Our last close call is brought to you by Session FPV, who does this massive power loop and then instead of pulling out, oh, he sends it into a Maddie. He just full sends the power flying backwards. And then right when you think he should, you know, flip out of it, he goes Kah! and gets <laughs> under the gap. And it looked like he was just yay close to a complete concrete wreck. I appreciate the commitment there. That was awesome. Our next category is cinematic. First up, we have one of the coolest videos I've ever seen. Not just coolest FPV videos, just coolest videos ever. Tom has a time-lapse blog, so he specializes in time-lapse and hyperlapse video, but he's starting to work FPV into his workflow, and I think the results are really stunning. I do not know how some of these shots are just so well blended together, and I love that I can't tell what's what. You can't exactly tell what's being done with a handheld camera, what's being done with a Mavic, but you definitely know when you're seeing that FPV influence. That, there's no mistake in that was an FPV shot, but look how that blended in. Those, those were not the same shot, but that was just a perfect seamless transition. What, what is that? Dude, it's so cool. These, these transitions, they just, it's like magic. Oh! Awesome, awesome ending. I love seeing FPV get adopted by video artists and use FPV in all new ways. This is so cool. Our next cinematic video is by Druno, and it is a, a Cinewhoop style video that I believe this is actually a one take continuous shot. So whereas that last video had a lot of really awesome transitions, that made the video feel like one shot. This video is more about piloting skills, getting all the shots linked together in one run, having no chances for mistakes. So he gets a full loop around the courtyard, under the bridge, actually goes into the building, flying around these different rooms, taking a look at the painting here. Where was the pilot set up? to get all this range. Maybe that was multiple shots, just done with some really slick cuts to, to make it look continuous, but I'm pretty sure that was a genuine one take. And so I really appreciate the skill it takes to fly that type of one take cinematic shot. Our last cinematic video is by Parasite FPV. I've never heard of this guy before, but I've got my eye on him now because check this out. Beautiful location here. And then look at, I like these transitions, right? So it's it's definitely got that cinematic look where it's stabilized and got some of that, that like you know, lens distortion removal going on, but they're doing more freestyle moves here. You know, he's not afraid to whip it around with a yaw or a power loop. And then check this out. It's going to like a Maddie into, whoop. Awesome transition, I love that. Just, oh gosh, what is happening here? What is happening? Oh gosh, what is happening? Is it 3D or is it an effect? I don't know what I'm looking at, but I'm loving it. It's so cool. Basically, I love that he's flying freestyle and then flying in the face of all the freestyle rules, using stabilization, speeding up and slowing down footage, playing things in reverse, flipping the video upside down. He doesn't care about what you should or shouldn't do for freestyle. He's just being limitless here and making a really awesome result. It's so spectacular. I just, the transitions, everything, I love it. All right, our last category is WTF. And we've only got one video. This is by Yet FPV. Look at this, look at this. What, what is he doing here? Doing a little bit of a handstand action while flying a drone. I've definitely never seen this before. I don't know what else you can say when you see this other than just WTF, mate. This is so cool. I, I could never do this. There's no chance I'll ever be able to do a cross-legged headstand and fly a drone and self-orbit. Like how disorienting, oh, leg gap. Why not just throw in a leg gap? But just how disorienting must this be? It's so mind-boggling to watch. 
Nice. <laughs> Oh, uh, so cool. So that's gonna do it for this episode of Community Spotlight. If you're wondering how you can get one of your FPV videos featured on a future episode of Community Spotlight, just keep ripping. We're always watching new pilots on YouTube and Instagram and Facebook. If you're not already a member, check out our Facebook group. It's a great place to uh, get help, help others, and of course, share your flying. Don't forget to leave a YouTube link because we always wanna include uh, the pilot's YouTube channels, get them some subscribers when we do these community spotlights. So post a video in the Rotor Riot Facebook group, leave a link to your YouTube channel, and we might feature you in a future community spotlight. The last thing we have to do is pick a winner from this episode's featured pilots. Like I said, this winner is going to get a $100 gift card to the Rotor Riot store that they could use on the all new Rotor Riot gaming PC or whatever else we got on this store that you might want. And today's winner is Parasite FPV. Like I said, I've not heard of this pilot before, but this unique cinematic freestyle cine style video really captured my interest and I'm really looking forward to seeing more videos from Parasite. So Parasite, awesome work. Keep flying, just keep doing what you're doing because I'm loving it. Guys, as always, there are links in the description to the channels of all the pilots featured on this episode of Community Spotlight. So definitely check them out, like some of their videos, and hit them with a subscription. We hope you enjoyed this episode. I'm Ladrib, this has been Community Spotlight, and we'll see you next time on Rotor Rise.